old paths in their mind are cut new with fresh footprints. They walk where they have before, feeling like they have in the past, yet there is still a confusion, a dissonance between their emotions and them. They go over the usual questions of what they are feeling, the first being hunger, for even hunger can feel foreign and confusing to someone with little food. The more steps they take, the deeper into themselves they go, becoming a ghost roaming the streets among the living. Working through their list of feelings, one strikes a chord and their throat closes, their hands go numb. Do you really want to cry right now in the middle of the street? Do you really think that you will feel some kind of relief? The voice nestled in their mind bites back. In defence, their airways open, their pace quickens, determined to get home before the floodgates open. Even if no one would care to give a second glance at the crying figure, there is a shame in their emotions, a harshness ingrained in their brain, trained to run away.